What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we are taking the city of Freshburg at Hungary. Uh, we have to attack quickly unless this Russian stack may come in and take it off of us. A couple of mortars, some militia. Shouldn't be too much to worry about. So let's crack on. If needs be, we can call in on our reinforcing army. Um, but my plan is to try and swarm it from all directions, blow two holes in the wall, and then have at it. Um, no real grand strategy beyond that. But the main thing is we need to keep, we need to ramp up the pressure against Prussia um, pretty much across the board, because right now Russia's starting to sneak in and grab, well potentially grab some territory here and there, so I don't want to make it too easy for them. Bye. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to spend my time destroying the Prussian army so they come in and take the city. That's... That is that is a bad deal right there. But anyway, before we get ahead of ourselves, we have to take this city. So... Let's form our assault divisions. So I'm going to combine my Gurkhas and Islamic Swordsmen here. I think my Kizor Bashi are generally the better ones to send into the breach. Um, I think it's going to be much of a muchness, really. Give them two infantry units each, including mercenaries. And these four, their job will be to scatter around the other side of the city although that might be a bit unnecessary to go that far out yeah, let's go here good and then keep the cavalry just out of danger they will be needed Make a hole. There are enemy reinforcements coming in. But there aren't many of them, and I'm not that bothered if they make it into the city. Yeah. Let's make a hole. We'll make make two breaches. Then we can Well then I think then we'll just push up. Boom. And then attack here. Ideally we'll trap some men on the walls but I don't think we're going to be able to do that if we got to 50% we could have killed a few before they got off the wall maybe our guns are firing now yes good kills good kills oh the mortars are okay they're already firing so Because they're already firing let's just start the ball rolling now heady push up they got lots of mortars so we got to do have to be careful here but I'm hoping I can swarm from as enough directions at once we can't ever really mass their firepower in the way that they want I'm gonna have to risk friendly friendly fire here two mercenaries three musketeers not bad Islamic swordsmen are taking the brunt of the hits. Send one unit to sit here. I mean, they've left this one 
pretty open, so... Give my Gurkhas and my... Give my melee troops and my range troops orders just to run straight in. Bring the General's bodyguard with them. The Gurkhas are going to have to storm in. Mercenaries scale the wall. Bring my cavalry over here as well. And some musketeers they can hold here too. I mean, have you worked out what you've done? Yep, Quicklime coming in against my Sapahi. They stay mobile. has been engaged run one of my run my Islamic swordsmen up to the mortars and run a Hindu warrior unit to run through here and hit one of these militia units in the rear quick climb no good Indian infantry mercenaries garrison the command HQ another unit garrison the armory yeah, we're too close. Your quick climb has no power here. There we go. Got melee troops in the rear. There's like swordsmen are attacking the block. Hindu musketeers are very upset. They're getting shot at by the militia. We haven't secured this gatehouse. Securing the armory. The human scale here. Uh, to be honest, shooting's a bit irrelevant. Send the melee troops to go after this last mortar garrison unit. I might even run my Hindu Musketeers. Actually, my Hindu Musketeers deal with this. Islamic Swordsmen push onto the rear here. Get my cavalry in, get my Musketeers in. Let's bring the General in. There we go. I'll just get my Mercenaries involved as well. Killed their general. There we go, and they've broken. Did you break as well? No, you're still standing. Slaughter them as they come through the gate. Many, many kills here. You hold the square. There, they broke too. That's right, you cowards. Still, Hungary is taken. That's the important thing. It's another fortified city. Boop. And bloop. Excellent. Let's push the Russians back. Area secured. Pleasure Garden, Pleasure Garden, Pleasure Garden, Pleasure Garden. Okay, let's get rid of some of these. Probably three of them. We're not going to be moving out of the town for that long. You're going to hold. Well, this this area is going to hold until these guys... I mean, they, they, these guys reorientate around this plot of land here. Can you kill that Prussian... You've already done your job. So you are almost ready to ship across. You're almost ready. Build some Jebex, because at least they can kind of do a bit of fighting at least. Okay. Crew, another general. 
Samandari, native lancer, sipahi, sipahi. Great guns, don't like mortars. Something like that. Get the ball rolling again. So these are some lower tier fleets. So battle fleets, trade fleets, a lot of intermediate fleets. Good, okay. Let's get some more. Another battle fleet pulled up plus steam dried. Yeah, you're already doing it. Fourth rate, grand, grand, grand. So in Europe itself, Amsterdam is still being converted. TV. Uh, you can't. Can you? Okay, she just don't have the movement. Next turn, you guys will jump on Copenhagen. These guys, uh, I mean, they'll have to be dealt with at some point. But let's let's see what's what's going to happen on the land front first, because there's plenty of armies around. Okay, let's send a cavalry unit forward to raid Rostock. Just to see if that... Yeah, they're war-weary. Lots of clamour for a fall. They're exempting Berlin from tax. Interesting. I'm hoping that this... Well, they, they've lost Austria and Hungary, which are quite significant losses. You'd like to think they would start to think, you know what, we can't afford to pay all these troops. And then they're going to start suffering widespread uh, widespread de decline of their armies. That's the word. But I think they're going to be panicking ever so slightly about what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. And it looks like, well, I need to get my, send my agents out a bit more because then at least we'll be able to see what they're doing. For the most part, I think they are probably just reshuffling depleted armies around. And they're not actually uh, doing anything. <laughs> Nothing particularly offensive anyway. But we are starting to get more of a front line against Russia now. So that's something to be aware of. Until now, we didn't really have a front line except around Greece. Because in the Caucasus, we've got Georgia and Dagestan in the way. Don't want to intercept. Hell no. Let my army recombine. Uh, same answer again. Except now they've just got more troops. Okay, they just want to secure the port. That's okay. Oh, that's a sugar plantation. The Windward Islands. Yes, Prussia, what are you going to do? Oh, okay, okay. Ret retreat. That's a cavalry unit. They can easily make up the distance. I'm not interested in fighting against... Right, well, okay, there are three full Prussian armies with two Mysorean ones, and one of them is depleted. So they're rejigging, they're reorganising, and that's not, not terrible. So they're going to be reorganising in Sarajevo. Curious thing is, have you marched out of... Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, we are going to fight it. Ooh, heavy horse guard artillery. That's something to watch out for. The rest of it should be okay. But I think we're probably going to want... Maybe not necessarily artillery, but infantry coming in. But yeah, why not? Let's do this. Because the lead line, I mean, it's the general field marshal of the army, so you definitely want to kill him. The infantry this itself isn't a problem. I mean, that heavy artillery could be a problem, so that'll be a job for one of you guys. But let's set up our lines and get ready to withstand this Prussian attack.
and at least it kind of sort of deals with the the uh, embarked troop problem. Because always part of the risk was that they would sail and they would deploy and land somewhere unfortunate. But as long as I kept my ports occupied in the Baltic, they couldn't really get anywhere that quickly to cause trouble. It's not as if they could sail out to the North Sea or the Atlantic and attack somewhere behind the lines. We've got the town at our back. So I think what we're going to do... We're going to have our infantry... All of our all of our guns in the line to maximise the amount of dispersed firepower we have available, and rely on our cavalry to probe around the flanks and get their artillery. I mean, from the, from, at the start we can manage to a certain degree. This is going to work out quite well actually, because I'm going to get my Hindu musketeers on the flanks, so they can use square and support themselves a little bit better. Actually, I've not deployed all my guns, have I? That's okay. It's point one on this on this slope here. They fire over our heads. Behind each Kizobashi line, two units of Hindu warriors. I've got one as yet undeployed Hindu musketeer unit. Plus a unit of dervishes. I think largely it's going to be okay. Okay, reinforcements coming in from a really not great position. So let's just... It shouldn't be a massive problem off the bat. Puckle guns are moving up, but we're not really that interested in them. Make sure all my guns focus on the heavy horse guard artillery. Send my Sapahi to inset this general's bodyguard unit. Yeah, now their artillery is opening up, and their artillery will be. Oh, God, that musketeer unit just took a load of damage. Let's pull the Hindu warriors back. Well, no, here comes the. Yep, yeah, because these guys can't form square. They are a pretty good cavalry charge target. Not overly bothered about anything else, just hit the artillery. Looks like we've got one of their guns. Let's see if we can shrapnel shot these guys in, in with enough warning, although it looks like and that's going to be the heavy artillery again. It's just so damn powerful. Bizzobashi. Let's get you deployed. Hindu warriors get over here and attack the horse grenade guards. Okay, I'm going to have to push forward my horsemen because we need to deal with those those guns sooner rather than later. Okay, and I'll assume they, they, they've been taken care of. Let's begin attacking some of these other units. You continue to have a bit more of a holistic view and go for the General Field Marshal of the Army. We're hacking down these horse grenadier guards quite nicely. They deployed stakes, but they're not going to be enough. First, go for the six pounder horse, then onto the other guns. It will cause more of their reinforcements to come in, but. We will be okay for a for a time being.
for the horse guard, heavy horse guard artillery have elected to make themselves available for the engagement. Very nice of them. Buckle guns are firing. It would be nice to kill their... I mean, my cavalry are probably going to break, but... He hit the general's bodyguard. You men for the square. Bring the dervishes back. She's bringing my Kizobashi over here. Because the enemy general's bodyguard's over here. Let's see if we can take him out. He's lost 15 of his crew. Well, staff. He's not a pirate, he doesn't have crew. Guns at the back. Start pointing at the horse grenadier guards. You need to watch out for the spikes. Why did you rout, I wonder? Is it from the Fry Jaeger? No. Okay, right on now. They're going to. Okay, right, let's get you out of here. Indie warriors charge the Freyjäger. Jaeger. Okay, they've gone. New men, shrapnel shot, expat infantry. Indie warriors charge the expat infantry. Charge the horse artillery. You men start to engage the puckle guns, I think. Our better option is to take our right flank and push, because we know they're going to be coming from over here. So you do a bit of swiveling. Kizobashi, get over here. You men knock out the guns. Pull back. Actually, you men have to blast them with canister shots. Actually, no, you guys have to get back into the back into the line. Get my cavalry back. Is a square to disrupt them. Okay, well, this gunner, you're going after the horse grenadier guards, I believe. Swiss mountain jaegers are exposed. General's field, general field marshal of the army is somewhat exposed. You're gonna have to get out. Oh no, the cavalry coming in. Yeah, you guys are battle face. Fire at will. Put a volley into those oh, have you, those horse grand air guards. You're both unsure of your mission. To limber these guns up. Send my spahi in to make sure we win the fight here. So I think it's going to be a bit of a chess game. Might even involve rebalancing my my entire army at the town against the blank. So you men just book it straight south, or not south, towards me. The 
gunners are hooked up. Redeploy. New man hunker down. New warriors get back here. Get these gunners just to come straight shot back as well. My Spahi are gonna, my cavalry are gonna have to get stuck in, so everyone else can withdraw safely. Because then we've got our reinforcements are at our back. I mean, you want to try and hit the giants with canister shot. Field Marshal of the Army. The e men come back. Hit the Grenadiers. The e men probably need to hit Fusiliers up front. You guys are going to have to just hold them up. Apologies for that, good sirs. May lose some foot artillery, but we can recover that. Or we can recover from that, I should say. There goes the Fusiliers. I might put a gun... Actually, bring you guys over here. New men deploy, I mean, it's not a great position, but you can defend it. Your gunners engage the 41st on the right flank. Spread my melee troops about. Here comes a new unit of Sapahi, bring them over to here at speed. These guns are just going to go straight through the line. So you might shrapnel shot them. Yeah, these guys are... These guys are sturdy. Blast them. Come on, you got to break soon. So then you can switch to round shot, engage, puckle guns. Brycor cavalry are at point blank range. Engaging my gunners. Make sure my generals are firing well off. My Ahadi get over here. I mean, the lifeguard must break soon. They're down to 38 from 188. Very sturdy, confident troops, I am sure. But, yeah, there we go. Ooh, interesting. Bring my get away to Hadi over here with the Sipahi. Elephant Musketeers on the right. Come on, break 38th foot guards. Uh, we lost my lost a set of guns. So this line withdraw. Oh, we lost two sets of guns actually. So let's begin 
kill the right flank in. You men kill the 38th foot guards. Who's that out there? Phil Jaeger Sophia. Hit the Brunswicker guards, you men hit the line infantry. I mean, I don't. I mean, it seems a bit of a waste to start. We sat here mopping up enemy infantry with my cavalry already, but it's very good infantry. Had he hit the 99th from the front, his two men of Sapahi hit him from the rear. Get ready, Hindu warriors. It looks like they're ready or they're moving in a position to surround the line. These guys should fall. It's heavy Lancer cavalry that got two good charges off. Nearly down to half strength. Your warriors get in. Pull you back. Our full artillery. Engage the Felt Jaeger. Get my get some Kizobashi over here on the right to help out. Kill that last Prussian grenadier. And you're getting over here to attack their artillery. Oh, the General Field Marshal of the Army got involved. Take him out. Did we actually get him? Yes, Joachim von Zietzen. Yes, we have. Charge straight on into the 108th. The enemy line is broken. It's foot artillery shrapnel, the Feltjäger. Go after the mortars, uh, the rockets, then the mortars, then the howitzers. Okay, now let's push up to be within range, push my elephants up. Musketeers start picking off the Felt Jaeger. You can hear the shrapnel shot going off. Kill the rocket troop. Go on, elephant musketeers. Use your muskets. Get in position. Try kill the rocket troop, but I think they're going to successfully escape. Pull my cavalry force back. Excellent. Okay, so you men are going to pivot to face the new threat. You men are going to advance up to surround the 27 foot guards. Yeah, good amount of damage to the mortar crew. Yeah, they're broken and they will escape. Go for the 24 pounder howitzers because they could drop quick climb on us. You men may as well charge the enemy. They're within range. If you don't do it, they're just going to slowly chip away at you. There we go. We're surrounding the enemy guards. I mean, it's only a matter of time before. There's the puppet guns again. They're just 
Not great. There we go, the guard is broken. Get the puckle guns. And then everyone else push up surround the enemy troops. Chase down the 108th, ignore the superior line infantry because they form square. If they don't want to play, then we shall not play. Characters are still in transit, so these will all die. Yeah, they might have made one of our units break, but it won't be enough. They'll be back. Okay, this cavalry pursue the line infantry guards. I mean, they can keep the puckle guns, as far as I'm concerned. There we go, they came back. Get back into line. Charge the superior line infantry, because they've now... They've abandoned the square. Pursuing the enemy. You may come back. You'll probably come back. See? Get into formation. Oh, these poor militia, they're going to run straight through in my line, so they're going to lose a lot of men. You've caught up with the 27th foot guards. I mean, the Mysorian way of war in these games is very light in terms of pairing for your forces and keeping them in line. Really? It really is. them down, although I'm not overly bothered about making sure they all die. Superior line, infantry on the other hand, yes please. Have you killed those guardsmen yet? Three line infantry guards. It's one last guy. Will he stand and fight or will he run like a Prussian dog? Damn right we're going to continue. chase down the puckle gun crew wherever they are fire will off one of you are going to go after the grenadiers specifically not the militia superior lines down now the border's not close so i'm not worried about killing the grenadiers Keep at it, keep at it. That was a big mistake, Russia, that you made attacking me here. You could have just let me sit, sit there controlling a bridge, but nope, you decided that you wanted to try and contest the river. Actually, no, you wanted to try and attack my lone, lone cavalry unit and you got too close. Although they are going to escape, but it's only a militia unit. Close victory, eh, potentially dodgy, but uh, we hadn't exhausted ourselves yet. Yes. Oh, I was thinking of the, thing, I was thinking of the wrong area of the map completely. <laughs> yeah, you can raid behind the lines as much as you like. There's plenty of troops on the way. Ooh. I mean, those guys are probably going to stay there just to prevent Bavaria from breaking out to the south. I 
But Dresden is looking mighty tempting. And so is Berlin, frankly. Berlin and Dresden. I mean, they may be able to support an attack against Dresden. But if I seize Dresden and Berlin, neither of those armies support each other, which is very useful. I mean, yeah, there's a large concentration of Prussian forces. Ooh, opportunity to intercept. I'd rather not with this army. I would with them. But this army, I mean, they're depleted. I mean, oh, screw it. They're depleted, I'm depleted. Let's do it. <laughs> Mostly, mostly they've got an army of cavalry. We can deal with that easy enough. So let's <laughs> slaughter more Prussians. But hope for as long as this if this results in the gain of more territory, that's great. Otherwise, well, I just really hope we aren't letting because because Russia's turn is after Prussia, so I really hope we're not. Softening up the Prussians so that the Russians can come in and sweep in and take all of the goodies for themselves. So we'll do something like this. Keep a chunk of melee troops ready to respond through the town. My other infantry is going to spread out on the left, except maybe you. You might guard the artillery. Although, to be fair, I might add a second unit of artillery. With one on the high ground up here. So you guys all committed. Your bit of a reserve is going to be holding some of the high ground on the right. Two units of melee troops to cover the main line. All my cavalry except for my camels. Over here on the right. There's a bashy fireball off. Yeah, they not got they've not got much firepower. A lot of cavalry, but none of it good cavalry. A lot of militia, a lot of infantry, none of it good infantry. So the Hussars, I mean, if they don't pick up the pace, they're going to hit a line that's fully deployed. They're already getting the bejesus pounded out of them. Some long range fire. Yeah, there was 20 odd fellas. And that's enough. It looks like they may want to contest the town, which is fine by me. It's you back here. General's bodyguard, General's bodyguard, light infantry. Fusars, lots of General's bodyguard here. I mean, I'm not expecting many surprises or a lot of tricks. Send in a Hindu warrior unit and the Islamic swordsman unit to cut off the general. Two is unnecessary, but I want to see if I can slow them down. Trap more shots, the Enemy infantry. You men shrapnel shot the hussars. So we caught the general. Where's the man himself? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Oh, there's the whole unit gone. Okay, let's. Get everyone back out to the edge. There goes the Hussars. And 
These poor souls. What can they hope to do? I hear a charge. The hussars are going in. Bring up the dervishes. To be honest, let's send them in. So imagine you're a light infantryman going, Ooh, it's all noisy out there. Whew, lucky we're in the town. Nothing's going to happen now. Zeet! <laughs> Surprise, mother. <laughs> it's just a bunch of guys with swords and shields. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, better place your stakes. I'm definitely not going to swarm over that with my Islamic swordsmen. Camels can go this way. And they got a charge off against my Gizzle Bashi. Well, I'm imagining this is probably how a good portion of the other armies, how other Prussian armies look. They aren't necessarily chock full of buckets and buckets of full strength infantry. Actually, a lot of it is just stuff that's a bit poor. Like we have enemy stakes. They didn't put too many down, so we shouldn't lose that many men to our to their defences. Guns are a bit teensy weensy bit superfluous. I mean, unless the camels run that side of the stakes and then have to run through them. <laughs> Some brave souls have taken stakes for us. Irregulars, militia, swordsmen hit the superior line infantry. So I'm going to flank them with. Another unit of Islamic swordsmen. Uh, General's bodyguard is the priority target. If we get him, the rest of them will fall. They're winning! They're, they're like, yeah, we're doing so well. Meanwhile... Bring the camels down to attack the bodyguard. Yeah, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, come on, get involved, you sars. You guys should cut through them quite quick. This is a bit... This is more of a questionable decision of mine. You know what the old saying is, always reinforce failure, especially when you've got just a way too many more and more units than you need. There you go, the Hussars have got involved. But they're not really specced up for a slog against melee infantry not alone not in tiny numbers actually you men go on to here the infantry situation here will be resolved momentarily they may be mercenaries but I don't think they're getting paid enough to stand up against these guys How about you? There they go. Nice. Very nice. I mean, this army's probably going to be annihilated anyway, so we probably don't have to chase them down. Although it is tempting. But let's... Let's try and get through more of the end turn phase in this episode. <laughs> One unit left. That's pretty good. I wouldn't head south. You're not going to find any safety there.
So what is Russia going to do? Lots of movement of troops. I'm glad I'm fortifying the Caucasus. Because they may... They're offering an alliance. They propose an alliance. Which I am going to go with. Just to lock them in from being able to attack me. So then in this way I can focus on Europe. <laughs> well, post war post prussian war i can focus on um the americas rather continue expanding in the americas and then eventually russia will go hang on a minute that's a terrible idea why are we letting them do this and ultimately there's nothing to stop them from attacking us down the line anyway at least this way we can see what they're doing to a certain degree I mean, New Spain is a concern, because they are in prime position to attack me, and we've not got enough, we've not got a lot of troops in Cherokee territory to stop them. I need to make sure that Mexico itself isn't going to, isn't going to rebel against me either. George is checking things out, but they're still good. Württemberg's making sure their territory's clear. Apart from that, things are looking up. Come on, let's get back to it. Let's do a bit of administration before bring, conducting another round of combat operations. Enemy raid down to the south, that's fine. Although we can... Right, I need to. We need to get up to Sarajevo because the Russians are going to take it if we don't get a wiggle on. Hmm. Okay, I've got. I've got an idea of what I might want to do for the next to end the episode. Let's take you. Get you to here. I don't think oh, it's not going to be close enough, unfortunately. You will be close enough. Oh, I want to see if I attack Sarajevo, it's going to be a huge action. But will I? Will I? Oh my Jesus! Will I get the support of all these Russian troops to help me take Sarajevo? That would be quite fun, I think. And for the most part, though, we're going to have to continue pushing conventionally through enemy territory so we've got percussion shells which are okay okay we got some more armies to ship over not that we're running short but you know more firepower Construction. Okay, can I leave you alone now? Minus four. Not yet, although if I recruit a bunch of kids or bashi, do you then will that make you chill out in future turns? Lots of top tier buildings. Okay, you can leave Louisiana, so you can push up. Military governor's encampment doesn't really get us much. Let's redeploy against New Spain. New Orleans, let's just try recruit some ragtag fools to guard our territory for us. Workers riot in New Spain. What if I exempt you from tax? Oh, I didn't actually repair any of your buildings. No wonder you're all upset. So there's going to be a rebellion. Oh, I need to destroy seminary. And yeah, I really didn't give this as much attention as it deserved when I took it over. Okay. 
Let's push you guys up. Ready to start the fight. Build a trading port. I'm probably going to build or start building a bunch of sloops. Good. Islam is growing. Right. Yeah, I thought I had a fleet down here. I didn't do anything with. Potentially very risky manoeuvre. Bring the fleet into port. You lost... Oh, you lost two artillery units, didn't you? Yep, yeah, you did. You didn't lose very many men at all. Okay, before we do much, you're going to... Well, let's see. Do the Prussians want to stop us? Oh, they've intercepted us with this fleet and the Heinrich Lauenbach. And is that the... I can't identify which one it is, whether it's the one in dock here or it's this one at sea. But yeah, I need to control this strait so I can get my ships across it to attack Copenhagen. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time with a bit of naval action against the Prussian Empire. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>